just a second. Oh yeah. This is the finals, you guys! This is awesome! You can see two of the best teams facing off on one of my favorite maps. I am super excited. I hate Skirmish, to be completely honest, but that's okay. I'm gonna cast it all the same, and it's gonna be great. Alright. Both teams have kept their drop decks completely secret, so I have no idea who is bringing what at the moment. But it does look like we have SJR spawning in red on the water side of Crimson Strait. And that means that we have the Lords spawning in blue on the south side. Alright, let's take a look at these drop decks quick. Okay, so from the Lords, we have four Dragon Slayers, three Cataphract, three Ds, one Shadowhawk, a Spider, two Firestarters, and a Jenner. And so it looks like Lords are, in fact, moving up around the right side of the mountain, trying to get into that city. Looks like they've got Cobra and a Spider scouting it out. And then we have... No, yeah, I, I did. And then in red, we have SJR spawning with... Uh, looks like a fairly similar drop. We have four Embers... Two Shadowhawks, four, five Dragon Slayers, and a Cataphract. So these are fairly similar drop decks. It looks like SJR does have that light advantage. And so we see Lords moving around. They're moving around the far edge of this city, sticking close to the water, trying to maybe get a drop on SJR. And they're doing it pretty quickly. We see Wispsy and Peepers and Lightmax scouting out, making sure that they know where SJR is at all times. We have the same from uh, SGR in legal department and T-Fun getting some good scouting information. It looks like both teams are comfortable to just kind of group up, get everything set. Coburn from Lords is actually getting some very good scouting information up top of that mountain, but he's dropping down as we speak. Oh, we actually see an Artie strike go down. Not much significant damage, but definitely very interesting. Uh, early Artie strikes like that can do a lot of damage. Uh, you can get those early headshots off of one arty which can change the game completely and again this is skirmish mode so you do see the the one kill advantage is definitely in place if one team gets up by even that one kill the other team is then on the back foot not only are they down a player but that they have to push into you to make the engagement because you can fall back to whatever the most advantageous spot is for you lords is continuing this push and they get are very clumped up with a big arty strike coming down this might do a lot of damage we see quite a bit go down. Uh, Trevelius, Trevelius is at 83%, Eglar at 88 Some good hits go down there. Uh, Lord's made a little bit of a mistake in getting so clumped up, but they come out of it alive. No mechs down. Score is still even, and we're going to see a little bit of jump sniping right here. This is interesting. This is not necessarily where I thought the engagement would take place, but we do see uh, there's some good cover. Lords are trying to push their advantage a little bit, uh, moving, still staying aggressive, whereas SJR is swinging right it looks like we're gonna see a little bit of that ring around the rosy play uh, going for that counterclockwise push to take advantage of those left shield arms on most of these mechs lords is actually getting fairly close to the rear mechs for sjr here though an uh, arty strike goes down and one of those dragon slayers is down to 72 percent that could all just be in shield arm damage but it's still a lot we see a UAV go up from SJR. They want to make sure they know where they are if they're getting pushed on. We see a lot of damage go down on those clustered mechs. 79% for Gut, 77 for Pie Maker. Oh, they're getting trapped in this tight space, and Lords is really taking advantage of it. A, sm a small light skirmish goes off on the left side. Uh, looks like one of the Shadowhawks is caught by a couple of SJR's light mechs. But it looks like SJR is trying to push into the Lords, and the Lords are a little bit clumped up for Artie, but they're taking tremendous shots, and two mechs have gone down for SJR. Lords is in the lead with this, and it looks like they're in the lead in damage as well. A lot of SJR's Dragon Slayers are very beat up. We see Banana Nut Muffin from Lords is a little bit out of place, and SJR is trying to catch up with him and do some damage, but Jaeger and a Dragon Slayer is getting caught out by these lights in the middle of that open ground, and that's not a good place to be. Two mechs go down for Lords, and one more, two more go down for SJR. The score is currently 4-2 to two in favor of the Lords. UAV is going up, Artie's dropping everywhere. This is a fantastic brawl in the lower city of Crimson Straits. Machine gun fire everywhere. Another mech goes down for Lords. Another mech goes down for SJR. This is a crazy fight. 
Odwal and a Dragon Slayer is trying to get away as he's swarmed by these lights from the Lords. Machine guns and medium lasers everywhere. We see more and more mechs from the Lords swarming in to help. Another mech goes down. The current score is five mechs for SJR compared to uh, seven mechs for the Lords. They are in the lead and it looks like a lot of their Dragon Slayers are still at very good health. Doing a lot of damage. A big arty strike goes down. Looks like it takes down Kaffi Angst. That's a big hit. Uh, it looks like the score is almost tied up 4-5 to five in favor of Lords. This is such a good fight. It looks like Proton is sneaking around behind. He's going to get a kill on Carnage X and a Dragon Slayer. Another one goes down. Only three mechs remaining for SJR compared to the six of the Lords. And these mechs are doing so much damage. An airstrike goes down on Proton. He manages to dodge out of the way before he takes too much damage. And it looks like Lords are in a fairly good position. Ten mechs down for SJR. Only six down for Lords. They are hunting down these last few mechs. We see Zero, Thraxon, and Ember trying to get away, dealing some damage to Heimdallite, who's at only 36%. But a Duvo and another Ember comes in and takes the kill. We s this is madness. Only one mech remaining from SGR, and it goes down! Lords take the last game of the series, and they have won this first tournament. Congratulations. That was... Such a fun game to watch. Whew! So we see those final drop decks. We had four Dragon Slayers from each team, three uh, Cataphract 3Ds from the Lords, compared to just uh, one from SJR. SJR had one additional Victor and two Shadowhawks with four Embers. Looks like the Lords went a little bit light on their light drops, and it paid off for them. They come out with five mechs alive over none for SJR. A terrific game. I was going to say, looking at the damage uh, out there, really across the board, it was quite even, except for a few of the mechs from uh, SDR. You saw G-Man, looks like uh, two of the Shadowhawks as well, um, below 100 damage. Uh, G-Man was selected out at the very beginning there, and it looked like uh, um, Gut and Glory as well were uh, taken out before they could really do damage. Wow, that was that was intense. The RD and airstrikes were everywhere, as you uh, as you predicted they would be. So there you have it. We have House of Lords being the winners of the MWO Engagement Tourney. Anyways, congratulations to House of Lords and Steel Jaguar for uh, fighting there. I did not expect it to go down on the sort of the, the peninsula there. I was expecting maybe platform or something like that. But uh, so what, what are your thoughts there? Was it just positional uh, awareness? We saw Lords swinging around and they were on the six of SJR. Uh, on those, uh, the victors were sort of trailing behind the formation. But when SJR hooked around, they did like a, a UE. All their Shadowhawks were all clumped there. And uh, I, I remember you saying, oh, huge RD airstrike coming in. And it was right in the middle of them. It just feel like when they turned around to help defend the uh, the victors, uh, you know, uh, retreat there, um, it looked like they just sort of stalled out and took too much damage from the, uh, the Artie. But then they pushed into uh, Lord's formation there. Man, I gotta say, that was <laughs> such a fun game to watch. Uh, we saw both teams play really, really well. Uh, a lot Air already played a big role in that. Uh, we saw first at the beginning when SJR dropped that pretty big Artie on Lords, and in the end, when we saw uh, right before that final push where it became a really big brawl, we saw Lords drop a fantastic Artie strike on a bunch of clustered cataphracts from Steel Jag, and that made a huge difference in my opinion. Now, we did see similar decks from both teams, albeit uh, Steel Jag went, you know, Embers and Shadowhawks. And then we saw uh, House of Lords sacrifice one of their lights, but they had Cataphracts. And, and uh, you know, what do you think the, the thought was there? I mean, taking a sort of heavier to more mobile approach, is that what the thinking was behind? You know, being able to bring a little bit more firepower and armor, but you lose sort of uh, maneuverability. But is that a big deal in the city environment? So I think that what Lords went for was they looked at the game mode, they looked at the map, and they thought, all right, skirmish. Lights are going to be useful for scouting and for pokes, but not much else. They're going to be useful for getting down uh, like an advantageous air arty. But in the end, you need tonnage, and you need weapons, and you need that for all in capability in case it gets into a close fight. And so that's what they brought. They decided not to dedicate much tonnage and instead put it into those cataphracts, which you saw do a lot of work. Um, 
I think that that's a smart play. Lights uh, are very, very useful in objective-based games, like Assault, like Conquest, where you have the ability to where you have the ability to flank and cause your opponent problems and things like that. But in, a, in Skirmish, where you're just out to get the other team, it's kind of... Uh, their role is kind of secondary in supporting the heavies. So I think that we saw SJR take complete advantage of that and... Or sorry, sorry, not SJR. We saw Lords take complete advantage of that and play a fantastic game. I, I'm a little bit speechless, to be honest. It was a great game. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. We have House of Lords winning the MWO engagement tournament. Congratulations again to the followers, uh, follow-ups there, Steel Jag. And then, of course, we also have Antara Scorpions and 228, which I think they were fighting a third-place match, if you will, yeah. behind the scenes. They Do we are, have a result of that? About to start it now, actually, I think. That's awesome. All right. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this tournament. We will have more information on future tournaments coming. And uh, just make sure to stay tuned to MWMercs.com. We have been watching the MWO Engagement Tournament uh, for MechWare Online. Head over to MWMercs.com. Maybe you're new. Maybe you haven't played in a while. Register, download, and be a part of this awesome community. Quick shouts out, shout outs to all of you guys in chat. You guys are awesome. Make sure to hit that follow button so you guys get email notifications of all of our Twitch streams. And of course, I just want to say thank you so much to Rafa Waffle, Seriothrax, and The Magician for doing shoutcasting and commentary for these matches. I just want to say thank you so much. And if you do not know, Rafa Waffle is the host of the uh, War Room uh, podcast. And uh, you should check him out, along with Siri is his guest host, and you've got a bunch of guests as well. And you guys primarily talk about the competitive scene, either matches, meta going on, different strategies. I mean, you guys even break down, so make sure to check that out. And that is at twitch.tv uh, forward slash rawfawaffle49. And he's also on YouTube as well, so you should check out all the War Room uh, episodes. Specifically, this has to do with the entire tournament we just saw, which is competitive play. So make sure to uh, check out all their content. And again, huge shout shoutouts to you guys. And uh, I think we got you guys a little bit of a gift for helping out. And I just want to say thank you guys uh, for doing that, taking the time out of your day. And hopefully uh, the gift, uh, you know, is uh, it shows you how much we do appreciate the assistance and help. Hey, man, I got to say, this has been one of the best experiences I've had in a long time. Um, I started doing stuff with the competitive scene about a little over half a year ago. I decided that we needed to show, talk about the competitive scene, so I did it. And this has been, like, my dream, to be able to cast one of these tournaments, get to see all the best teams in one place playing each other in a fair setting with the spectator cam, which has been totally awesome. Uh, I want to give a huge shout-out to everybody who helped out we had a ton of guys behind the scenes uh deadfire was feeding us great information on the teams we had farf and noodle who made this incredible overlay that phil's been using this whole tournament uh all of the guys that have given us a hand in this and especially pgi for giving us all these tools making this tournament um <laughs> it's been an absolute blast i want to give a shout out to everybody who has come to watch i think i actually convinced my family who don't really give uh much about video games i think i they even got them to come watch so we've had a ton of people here it's been a lot of fun and i'm jacked for every continuing tournament um big shout out to house of lords they played fantastic in this tournament uh, i was sorry we couldn't beat them but i'm glad that they won makes me feel a little bit better about losing to them so yep shout out to everybody this has been a fantastic experience all right guys again thank you so much for coming out don't forget my name is phil I'm the host of the No Guts, No Galaxy podcast. Make sure to check out all of our content, NoGutsNoGalaxy.net, where we post up everything from mechware needs to battle tech needs to mech porn. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone on all the teams. Congratulations for participating. You guys did awesome, and I can't wait to uh, do this again in a future tournament. And, uh, yeah, get, get to see some live uh, mech porn action. Anyways, guys, this has been the MWO Engagement Tournament. Congratulations to House of Lords and all the teams that participated. We will see you uh, next time. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Don't do anything I would not do, but what the beard would do. And again, happy birthday to you, big guy, Bombadil. I know uh, it means a lot. All right, guys. We'll see you next time and next week. Until next time, Mech Warriors. Peace. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>